simply medieval Russian soldiers held in pits and cellars for refusing to fight in Ukraine. Here's a summary of the article. A Russian soldier convicted of insubordination was among a group of conscripts who accused their superiors of locking them up in a cellar in eastern Ukraine after they refused to fight, subjecting them to unsanitary living conditions and an insufficient diet, according to a report by an independent Russian news outlet. The conviction of soldier Yevgeny Frolov in the far eastern city of Spask Dalny on July 13 came days after new video footage emerged purporting to show Russian soldiers in Ukraine placed in captivity for refusing to go to the front line with insufficient equipment and support. The video was the latest evidence of more than a dozen such makeshift holding facilities used to allegedly punish Russian soldiers who refused to fight in Ukraine published by Astra which identified the men in the new video as members of Russia's 60th Separate Motorized Rifle Brigade. Yelena Popova, a Russian soldier's rights activist, told RFE, RL's Russian service that the main goal of forcing soldiers to stay in these battlefield holding pens is to force you to go to the front again. In November 2022, one of the Russian soldiers allegedly held in a cellar with Frolov in Zavitny Bazanya for refusing to fight filed an appeal to the Russian investigative committee alleging, tactical and strategic miscalculations by the higher command, constant lies to subordinates, and insufficient medical and material support. Maxim Grabenyuk, an attorney who represented Nasiv, told RFE, RL's Russian service in December that he had several Russian soldiers as clients who were thrown into basements where they were kept in inhuman conditions without formalization of procedural documents, no charges were brought. Popova told RFE RL's Russian service that soldiers who are subjected to such punishment are often hesitant to undertake a legal fight as well. This post received a score of 5,900, with an up-vote ratio of 96%. Here are the top comments in response to this article. Putin says it's a picture of proud Russian nationalists waiting to be deployed. Russians are all friendly people, and I grew up in a country where there were plenty of them. Why did they all flee? I've always wondered. Anecdotally this has not been my experience. Every Russian I've met has been grumpy and skeptical of everything. It's a culture where smiling and joviality is considered a sign of brain damage. Being Russian must suck. During WW2, any intelligent observer would have looked at Germany, its population, size, industrial output, the territory it needed to occupy and the fact that it was wasting significant quantities of aircraft and fuel fighting a losing air war against Britain and then looked at the USSR and that fact that Germany killed tens of millions of Soviets and pushed them to the brink and though, this country really, really fucked up. Something is deeply wrong on every level and needs to be changed. They like war, because they like feeling tough, but they're shit at war and have zero willingness to actually be tough when there's real resistance. The genuinely need to lose in a manner that's so decisive, it hard resets their collective brains. His explanation was this. In the US, I went to office to have a phone line turned on in my apartment. When they do, you pay for the phone and that much to the person for a bribe. They will say the phone will be turned on this day, but it's usually more than three weeks before a technician comes and he's probably drunk. What takes a few days here takes over a month in Russia, and that is the difference between Russia and the United States. A la verga. Colon closing parenthesis. Still better than the conditions on the front. They actually look kinda happy. They do genuinely look happy. There's even smiles and peace signs. Fuck Russia anyway. They should be happy. They're Russia's most intelligent grunts. So basically in terms of sanitary conditions and diet there's no actual difference. It's just the choice of sitting in a cellar risking to be bombed, or sitting in a foxhole waiting to be bombed, shelled, drone ambushed or shot. Seriously, this is way better than fighting a war. The pits will continue until morale improves. And if it doesn't we'll impale them. Russia is medieval. The government is a lot more similar to one in a feudal society than a democratic modern one. Loyalist self-serving lords sucking up to a king and the people are effectively powerless peasants. Yeah, that's Russia all right. Lenin is rolling in his grave. If only we could shove a turbine up his ass we'd solve the energy crisis. This video was automatically created by Reddit to speech. The article and comments in this video were selected from Reddit according to their upvotes.
and any paraphrasing was performed by smmry.com, without any human intervention. <laughs> 